welcome back to Marvel Live at New York Comic Con 2014, presented by Marvel, Marvel Contest of Champions. I was giving it a Kabam. really like dramatic pause, and you ruined it. All right, get cut. Yeah, Bam. start uh, again. By, uh, presented by Marvel Contest of Champions from Kabam. I'm Ryan Panagos, aka Marvel's Agent M, and I am Marvel.com editor Ben Morse. We have two guests for the price of one. We told you. Chris Eliopoulos yeah. is coming on. Chris, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Do I have to yeah. shake your hand? Yeah, oh, okay. see, you're up, oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thanks. But special bonus guest, we always have, yeah, we also really? have Corey oh. Pettit with us. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry for fumbling that. Wow. Yeah. It's all right. We're all two good professionals start. here all day long. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, these guys, they work on uh, lettering a bunch of Marvel books, a bunch of other books. Yeah. We do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, and most of the Marvel books we do. I was gonna say, I, I was gonna say you letter all the Marvel books, but I didn't know if that was 100% There may be one accurate. or two that we don't do, Yeah. but we don't like those do you have books, your so we don't talk about them. Do you have designs on them? I I have targets on the other letterers' foreheads that I'm ready to take Is it like, is it just like, this is gonna be my second uh, reference of the day, is it just like a giant game of Risk to you? It is, I'm the just Marvel taking over the world. It's just you know? Stratego, like I'm gonna take this guy out next, and my. King is gonna take them out, so yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, no, so we um, we do most of the books, so yeah. we're involved with just about everything from the death of Wolverine, sorry. What? To, yeah, Corey was um, asking beforehand if he could spoil the death of Wolverine. Which but I figured the title of the book is yeah, called Wolverine. Death of Wolverine. Kind of, yeah. kind of gives it away. Somebody actually asked me today about issue four, like, you know. What happens? What happens? Right? <laughs> I'm like, he's dead to me, so yeah. I don't know if he's dead to you yet, but he yeah. is dead to me, so. Yeah. Um, good to me, I'm done with him. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, we're you know I'm even working on Axis right now and uh, the Spider Verse, which is yeah. we were just talking about this one. So, if anybody doesn't realize, I wrote mm. uh, Lockjaw and the Pet Avengers. Yes. And one of the favorite characters was Miss Lion. Mm -hmm. And my good buddy Dan Slott was very kind enough to spare Miss Lion in this issue of Spider Man. I mean, if you haven't right. seen it, go out and pick it up today because yeah. it's a really. But Miss Lion has a big moment. She does, yeah. and you know what? I'm very happy that we can still have a Pet Avengers crossover. Yeah, there you go. They so could. he saved the day. Well, wait, wait is it he, he or she? Because in the in your book, it's in my book, it's a he named Miss Lion because I thought it was much funnier. Yeah, no, that, 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 that to me, that's canon. Like yes. that, that is that's what I believe. So I don't know on Spider Man and his Amazing Friends if it was if he was ever referred to as a he. Well, if it I wasn't seen it, so. if it wasn't referenced, then that means your version. Supersedes. Right. Plus, it's a Marvel six one six. Yeah. Basically now. Yeah. So we win. Yeah. Did you talk to Dan about this? Not at all. He surprised. I got the pages to letter, yeah. and I was just so happy. I was crying yeah. over my keyboard when I realized. Ms. You're Lyme always crying over your yeah. keyboard. <laughs> Have you ever seen these scripts? These are <laughs> very busy. I, but these, a lot. But these were happy tears. They were. Yeah. I was so joyous. So. so what books do you guys work on individually? Wow, what are you working yeah. on? Yeah. Right I'm um, working on Guardians, mm -hmm. X Factor, mm -hmm. uh, all new X Men, Hulk. Hulk. Yeah, um, he does a lot. I mean, we've. I did of Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> until I killed him. Yeah, until yep. he killed so, him. So, yeah, no, it's. Uh, uh, yeah. Ultimate Spider Man still. Yeah. He's been Miles doing it. Miles Morales, Ultimate, Ultimate Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. Miles, I did no. it years ago. He's been doing You've probably been on there the longest right now. Since it was like issue 80 or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So, a little rivalry in terms of who's the definitive no. Ultimate no. Spider Man. No, he takes guy. it. He That's takes the cake. Nice. He's done. God, you've done some runs that were very long. Yeah, I did. I had the longest run of. Amazing Spider-Man until Joe beat oh, right. <laughs> Joe t took over the book from me. And then he That's what we do. We sort of trade yeah. books. Now it's my turn. But yeah. I had, see, I had the bad thing. I had the Superior Spider-Man run in there, so it breaks up the Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. So I lose. You don't. Yeah, you don't. I get don't get the those. Don't run. Count, so. Sometimes it's assignments uh, in time wise. Sometimes it's just like you burn out after a while, or there's team changes and you want to switch it up a little bit. So I've got. Besides Corey, it's Joe Caramagna, uh, Clayton. Hi, Clayton Coles. 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 I don't even know how to pronounce his name. He's been working with me forever. He was in the office a few months ago. I didn't recognize him. He got really offended. See, he's probably watching because yeah. he wants to see if his name gets yeah. mentioned. So everybody say hi to Clayton. Sorry I'm again, on. Clayton. Hi, Clayton. Clayton, you're, just follow him on Twitter because yeah. he'll get really mad at us. You're, but, a, you're a big star, and I'm sorry I didn't treat you like such. Um, and then we have Joe Sabino, and I have a new guy that's doing oh, okay. work with me. Um, Travis Lanham. Cool. He's come, just started about three weeks ago. And so uh, he's all set up, and he signed his paperwork, so he's working nice. with us. So he's the newest member of the Marvel team. So What's his background? Welcome, Travis. Uh, he worked for another company which shall remain nameless okay. Uh, okay. for a while, but he's been freelance, and mm -hmm. um, I was looking for somebody new, and uh, he fit the bill, and he's an energetic young man who's looking to join the Marvel crew. Well, when you, when you bring someone in, what do, what do you look for? Like, when, when Corey came in, like, what, 
what do you look for specifically? Like, okay, this is someone who can vibe with me, who can. A pulse. You know? Oh, all right, yeah. cool. Yeah, like, yeah you, 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 you kind of got stuck with me, right? Uh, that's no, that's, no. I, <laughs> I brought him on when I first took over the Marvel operation. Mm -hmm. I brought Corey on, and um, and I brought some other people. But you know what it is? It's it, a lot of it is also uh, just the passion and like wanting to do a great job and and be willing to go the extra yard. Every one of these, as I bump into the microphone, every one of these guys always like Corey. Will you know he'll be here on a Friday night until eleven o'clock. Oh, wow. Here to, at the Javits. At the Javits. Wow. Like, yeah. Oh, he's out front. He's, he needs money. We I mean that's great. Lot. Yeah. So I mean, I, I whatever works. Nothing. So he's got. His, he's out. The, 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 he goes out to the tunnels and everything. Yeah. Like, where, wherever wherever I can get free Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so they work like maniacs. So this that's really in this business you have to have a passion and a love of it, mm -hmm. and then wanting to also not wanting to, but being able to stay late at night and work mm. these long hours. Yes, you guys know. Um, or Ryan's falling asleep before I came in, so yeah, he's living, but he's living the dream. Yeah. Living the dream. So that's what it is. Uh, we've so. got a tweet in here. I'm yes. sorry, Corey. Uh, we got a tweet in here from uh, Mark Beasley. He says, "Shout out to the best letterers and comics from the trade paperback department at Marvel." Aww. There you go. Oh, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Love you. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, you can send them in using the hashtag MarvelNYCC. And put dopey letters in that. Yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> We've got one from Sophia. She says, guys, your job is really difficult. I respect you so much. Oh, and she's, I think she's being serious. Not like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah, most people are like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I usually get, it's funny, it's the funniest thing. Most people don't even care about the lettering, which is fine. But I always get, you know what I get? Which is the funniest part is when people come up to me and they say, look, penciling is really hard. Writing, I can't do it. How hard could lettering be? Can I get a job like you? Right. So yeah, do you tell them the hours? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, if you want to work every day, every yeah. night. No, but you know, most people kind of see it as like sort of a, a which I like. I like being under the radar. Mm -hmm. I like not like this, this stuff for me is sort of above and beyond. I don't like being known. Mm. So it's the best. Sorry for having you on. I know. <laughs> thanks for ruining my, my yeah. gig, man. Um, but I uh, I like not showing off, mm -hmm. and so I think a good letter doesn't show off. Like, mm -hmm. they let the writer and the artist right. tell the story mm -hmm. and not impact it so that people are going, oh, my God, it's lettering. Right. Like, as soon as you say that, it's bad lettering. Right. It's like the yeah. job of an editor. You yeah. know, like, really good work there. Don't you won't noticed. notice it. You don't it's notice every, it. You're, you're drawn into the story. Even, the, you know, you talked to Tom Rebo, we were I, There was a point a couple of years back I had made a mistake on a book. Mm. Um, it went to print, and it printed slightly wrong. It was my fault. I totally took the blame, but he said, no, no, I take the blame. And we were talking about it, and editors get this all the time, where they say, um, if it's really good, yep. the, the art team or the writer gets the credit. If yep. it's really, really bad, the it's editor the gets the blame. So it's it's you know it's a catch twenty two. You mm. can't win as an editor, and you can't win as a letter. If you get noticed, you're doing a horrible job. If you mm. don't, you don't get noticed. Mm. Yeah. You know, so it's but it's fine. You know, we pay the bills. Corey gets to you know have an apartment and buy a new he just bought a new computer just yep. for this hey, yeah. so congratulations a, yeah you know he was he was working with stone and tablets for yeah. a yeah. while <laughs> and he's finally up to speed so but you know it's it's all good stuff and so Miss Lyons alive so I'm like yeah there you go what else what do you have to I, do, I have nothing else to live for but knowing that the Pet Avengers survived so yeah. uh, if, go ahead Ryan let's I was go. gonna say Tara Latore says, don't underestimate the power of Marvel letters. See? What kind of power do you wield? We don't do our job. Your books don't go to press. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, well, we also do uh, the production work on these books. I don't right. know if you guys in the digital area know so much as that. Um, not only do we letter the books, but we also do the production work. Mm -hmm. We'll do recaps, uh, letters pages, and we actually send the books up to the printer. So we output final PDFs and we send it out. So not only are we lettering the books, we're basically the production staff mm. on the books, and so that's why when you know Corey's here at eleven o'clock at night on a Friday night, or I'm there here at, at the, the job, job here, at the getting job. the Wi-Fi, yeah. we're um, we're really getting your books out so that they're in, on time at the stores. So yeah. um, you're welcome. Answers. Yeah, from thank them, this guy. Not right from me. <laughs> we got a couple more that have just come in. Right, I, I like this one. You're gonna love the comic book bro says, "I think I'm late. What exactly is a Marvel letterer?" So you're a comic book bro, but you don't know what a letterer is. Dude, like it's right in the credits, it's yeah. right there. Basically a letter um, it does all the sound effects that you see on a page, all the booms, the crashes, all the words in the word balloons, uh, the titles, the credits. Um, sometimes I even do the cover copy, yeah. like you'll see stuff on the front cover. I don't cre get credited with it, but I'll do those at times. So um, above that, and I'm chewing on a... I'm already starting with the, with yeah. the preventative, um, what is it called, the defense, the halt Coldies defense? Coldies or something yeah. like that. Oh, smart. Say, really smart. Uh, it's a con. So 
We do all that. We take the script from the, the writer, we take the art from the artist, and we marry the lettering on top. And there you have it. And then the editor rewrites it, and then the writer rewrites it, and then the editor rewrites the rewrites of the rewrites, and then we do it, and then we fade it, and then we send it off to the printer. Yeah. That's uh, fair. Uh, All right, go ahead. What's next? Uh, <laughs> Sophia I? says, I'm being serious. It's really hard to make it the perfect way. Don't be mean. I wasn't. I was just, no. you know, like, I, was, no, 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 I, I wanted you, because no, I knew that she meant it very seriously. No, yeah, I it, want... You know, um, I worked many years creating fonts that we use at Marvel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You won't really see them anywhere else. Um, yeah. And we worked really hard to get there, so. It's yeah. one of the things that give Marvel a distinct look. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of artists or writers will go back and forth, but yeah, you've made an indelible mark. Yeah, I've, I've, I've tried to, years. and I've tried to keep it very exclusive. I mean, I do some other books for other companies no, here and there, but mostly they're yeah. friends that I, I do, you know, but I, the, the not, fonts. Not good friends, or they'd be No, I don't, I just, right. <laughs> um, nobody's my better friend than Marvel. Um, um, <laughs> wow, uh, so. But yeah, so like, so it does. Like, I feel like we look at a Marvel book and it has a distinct look because Absolutely. of all the stuff that we put on there. So, and it's fairly testament to him and the other guys who do like, they make me look good. I'm just, I'm just the figurehead. Who well, that's why, that. that's why you hire people. Yes, and they've been very good to me. And, yeah, it's you know, what I did. We've been very lucky. That's why I have a job. Yeah, <laughs> uh, David Rowe, I love this one. Says, "Hey, Chris, my son misses Franklin Richards comics. Any hmm. chance we will see more?" Up to you guys if you start asking for it. Yeah. Um, I'd love to do them. I, Super I've fun. Been having a ball, I had a ball doing them. Yeah. I'd love to get back. I'd love to do, I wanted to do like a Franklin Richards Pet Avengers crossover. Right. So. I can't believe that ever happened. You know? I just, it was, it was somebody talked to the editors down sense, there. Right? You know? yeah. They're too busy with Spider-Verse things. And, you <sighs> yeah, know? the worst. Death of Wolverine. I mean, somebody wants to see Franklin and Pet Avengers. Super depressing. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna be winding down with these guys. Thank you for joining us, by the way. We got a little Thank bit you. longer now. I want to let you know to prep your questions now for Chris Anka, who is one of the artists on Uncanny X-Men. He's gonna be awesome. coming up next. Nice. Use the hashtag MarvelNYCC. Ryan, we got anything left in the last 30 seconds uh, here? Well, we got a question for Todd Nock from Julian okay. in France, but right, Todd left like him. an hour ago. Well, let's answer so. it for him. Uh, he says, Todd, from which sports or animals do you get inspirations to create the Jets? Yeah, new Jets. Call? Thank you. There we go. Yeah. There you go. That answers your I think question. He's a Dolphins fan. Nah. Oh no. Yeah. Guys, where can people find you online? Where can fans find you if they want? At Chris Eliopoulos on Twitter. There you go. And I'm at Corey Pettit. There you go. On Twitter. Nice yeah. and simple, guys. Thanks so much for thanks dropping for by. This is fun. This is a lot of time to chat with you, guys. We'll be back with Chris Anka in a little bit. This is Marvel Live at New York Comic Con 2014.